How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over the Kindle Paperwhite for beginners. And I'm going to be just giving you a simple overview of where everything is and how to work it. So if this is your first one, you can you can get started operating and having fun with it and just taking advantage of all the great features. So the first thing I want to go over is just this row at the top here, which is your home, home icon. And with the home icon, no matter where you are, let's say if I'm in a book, or if I'm in a game, or if I'm in the store, um, like if you're in a book, you just tap the top section, and this menu comes up. You tap home, it takes you right back to your home screen, which is right here. And then you have this back arrow. When you tap the back arrow, it, it takes you one step back to where you previously were. So I was in the book before I went home, and guess what? It took me back to the book. So it's a, it's a cool little way to just to um, get back and forth um, and to maneuver um, your e-reader. So that's our back arrow. Next we have our light bulb which actually controls uh, the lighting feature. So this controls the backlight. So backlight is off. And it says use low light for dark rooms and in well lit rooms use high. And there it is. See that? Backlight on, backlight off. So that's how you turn it on and off. And you control it right from up here. I'm going to turn it on halfway. Or you can tap the plus. Kind of get it as high or as low as you want it. Next we have our shopping cart. And what the shopping cart is going to do is it takes you to the Kindle store that is built in to the e-reader. So um, from here you'll have an option to browse books, newspapers, Kindle singles, uh, you can find your games and content, your magazines. We can go all categories to see an even bigger list of the options that are available. Blogs, the owner manual, how to do lending. Then these are features here, feature sales. You always have a list of books that are like $3.99 under, daily deals. Um, if we go see all, we can see the big list for that as well and so they, they they pretty much try to spread it out so either either you know what you're looking for or you want to look if you want to look you want to check the features section and then you have an idea of maybe some other books you want to download maybe you've already read all the books that you wanted to read and then down here we have Kindle Select 25 which is like best sellers or very popular books you can kind of hit see all to go through there to see uh, different books that are on that bestseller list. Okay, you also have a search option up here. In the search, you can actually type in a specific book you're looking for. An author. I'm going to type in Rich Dad. Rich Dad Poor Dad comes up. Rich Dad Advisors. So if you know the book you're looking for, you can just type it in there, and then it'll bring up a list of options for you. Guess what? Tap the back arrow. It will take us one step back, which is the Kindle Store. We can also use our home button because maybe we don't want to be on the store anymore. Maybe you want to go back to the to the menu and there it is. There's our home. Now let me kind of go over the home screen for you. So you have two options here. You have cloud and you have device. Device shows you everything that is actually on the Kindle at that moment. Whereas if you tap cloud, cloud shows you anything you've ever purchased, any book or game you've ever purchased for an e-reader and you can look through this list and then you can actually download uh, let's say I can tap gingerbread cookbook I can tap this and it will download it at that moment so now I will have that on the device what does that mean it means if you're not connected to Wi-Fi for example let's say you're on airplane mode or maybe you're actually in an airplane where you're not supposed to have your Wi-Fi on You'll still be able to look at anything in the device section. All you do is tap device. And now you have all these things you can look at, play, and read without the internet. So that's a big plus there. Next, all the way to the right, you do have the menu, which is another kind of shortcut to the store. You can look at the special offers, which appear down here and on the, the lock screen. One thing you'll notice is when the Kindle is asleep, you'll see ads that it will run on the screen. Can't really control that. You can get rid of it for a fee. You will have to go on Amazon's website and pay, I believe, $15, and you can get rid of the ads. 
I don't think they're a big deal because even if you get rid of the ads, you can't add your own picture as the screensaver. So, you know, I say live with it and don't worry about paying extra money. You know, use it on a book. You can also change the view here. So instead of us seeing these as a list, we can tap cover view and then you can actually see the covers of the books and of the games. So that's kind of cool. I like that better than the list view. You can create a collection of books. You can ask it to sync. Maybe you've just made a purchase on Amazon's website. If you tap sync, it will uh, basically add in that new book on your device. And now we go to our settings, which is again menu and settings. You have the options here, one of which is airplane mode. And when you tap this, you actually put the device on airplane mode, which, which disables your Wi-Fi. So when your Wi-Fi is off, one, it saves your battery, and two, if you're in an airplane, you should have an airplane mode because it helps from not interfering with um, the plane and all their sensors. Excuse my voice, by the way. I got a little hoarse a couple days ago, and I'm getting over it, but have videos to make. Didn't want you guys to have to wait, so uh, excuse me for that. Uh, you can change your registration information. Obviously, you register to me right now, but you can change that. You have your device options. If you wanted to set a password so that you'd have to put in a code to use it, you can set that in device options. You also have a uh, parental controls option in there. You can change the time. You can change the language, the dictionaries. You can also personalize it. If you wanted to say something different up here, you would do it in the device options. In here, you can change your reading options. So you can change how you interact with the, the pages uh, when you're reading a book. So all that would be in there. And now if we tap menu again, you have this is how you would actually turn it off if you need to restart it. Normally you can just hold down on the power button and it will shut itself down, but you can also do it by the menu. You'd have to be in settings first and then tap menu and then go restart or you know reset. Let's go home. And just in case I didn't make it clear earlier, the magnifying glass, when you tap it, that's what brings up the search option to be able to search through your content. So let's keep that in mind. Next thing here, so we're on the home screen right now. When we're on the home screen and you tap the menu, you can also go down to what's called experimental browser. This is actually how you would surf the internet because you can actually do some basic web browsing on the, the Kindle Paperwhite. Not a lot. Don't get your hopes up, but you can do some basics. Uh, let me bring up the list here. If we go menu and we go to bookmarks, you can see the Amazon websites, bookmark, Wikipedia, Google, Gmail, Yahoo. So you could actually access your your email from the Paperwhite just by going in the browser. It's not great, but it does work. So don't get too excited, but it does work. Okay, you can also do your Facebook and you can do Twitter. So those are all fun features. It's not the experience you're used to, but it's basic and it does work. So there that is. Let's go back to home. Let's open up a book so you can see what reading is like. Now right now we're in a book and if you want to go this way, which is go back a page, you would tap to the left and that will take it back. If you tap to the right, it will take you this way. You can also swipe like that too. Not necessary, but you can. You just start from the edge and swipe in like that. If you tap the top section, this is how you bring up the menu. And there's our home and, and all the other icons we just went over. You can change the, the lettering size. So tap the A and we can go from real big up to real small. You can get real small, like regular book small. You can change the font, also the spacing. Maybe if you want it to be a little more spaced out, you can do that. As well as the margins, if you want it to hit all the way at the edge like it is now, or if you want it to be in more, you do have those options too. Let's change the font as well. And then we close that out. Tap up here again. Uh, you can hit go to and you can jump to a specific page, specific chapter. This kind of allows you to kind of thumb through the book digitally with that section. 
Okay. And then let's tap. The, uh, we went like to the end of the book. The end, end went too far. Okay, tap at the top again. Just anywhere in the top section. Um, you do have the X-ray feature, which you can actually see where you are bookmarked. Um, in a, like if you're reading this on multiple devices, you can use this to jump back to certain sections. Maybe you haven't read yet. You can also jump to some other fun parts in the book. Chapters, pages. Okay. And then you can also share. So if you actually have a quote highlighted, you can share it on your Facebook or your Twitter just using that share button. And then you also have the option to hold down on a word. You can highlight. You can also swipe across to highlight a whole sentence. Then you hold and then you swipe or something like that. I didn't like that feature too much uh, because it does take a little work to highlight, but you do have the ability to do it in here. So then we'll tap up here if you want to get out of the book and just go home. Now pay attention to the top section because up here it does say Wi-Fi. You have a little like symbol that's out like this. And that's just telling you that it is connected to Wi-Fi. So that's how you know you're connected. I'm currently charging, so I have a little lightning bolt in the battery. Normally this will show you um, how strong the battery is at the moment and the time. So that, in a nutshell, is the uh, Kindle Paperwhite for beginners. I tried to make sure to hit everything. Um, very easy device to use, self-explanatory. I hope I've kind of hit all the main points and answered your questions if I haven't. Go ahead and shoot me a comment and I should be able to take care of you on that. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2Tech Videos. Check out our new website, www.h2techvideos.com for just a new user interface. A lot more user friendly, some new products on there as well. So don't miss out. Let us know what you think about that. Take care and thanks for watching and have a good one.